Welcome to Mimcom Solutions. Jake here. So back in 2023, I did some testing on my other YouTube channel. I'll link the video here where I took my the drone you saw there in the beginning that it's a DJI Mavic Mini and attached a fishing line to the bottom of it and a T Echo or yeah, the Lily Go T Echo below. And I didn't really get much success with that, at least the ranges I was trying. I was trying to get over a certain uh, physical obstacle, you know, land, terrain in between me or my home and the location I was trying to make contact with. A part of it was probably I did some elevation analysis and probably would have needed more than 400 feet uh, to potentially make contact. But because I moved to Europe to live and work here uh, for the next few years, I kind of ended that testing and now I want to re-energize that. So I've been looking for some better solutions and when Rack Wireless came out with their 19003 mini Mestastic starter kit, the little module here, I'll show you here and I'll show an image here in the screen, that smaller module that doesn't have all the things that the normal whiz block has on it. Um, I was like, okay, that's going to be lighter. Uh, and then I had found before the last time I was in the U S back in June, I printed this 3d printed case. Well, it originally had little tangs. It was meant to attach to the exact drone I have, but unfortunately those tangs broke. One of them partially cracked during transport in my check bag. And so then I just broke them both off and then attached some Velcro. This is the hook side, hoop side on the drone. Probably doesn't matter, but that's just how I went with it. Um, and then you see there with the kit, you're going to get the module, this little uh, omnidirectional antenna, the SMA connector to attach that. It does have the little uh, PCB printed antenna also, just like the... Bluetooth one. Now I did leave the Bluetooth on there just because that way when I'm initially setting it up, when I'm on the ground or something like that, it's going to be a lot easier to connect to it and set it up. Once I get above 200 feet, I might not be able to connect to it with, with my phone, probably, probably above hundred feet. Honestly, I'll have to do some testing on that. Uh, during when I was weighing this all out, I had 1100 milliamp hour big battery slid into the slot. I am going to order an 800 milliamp hour battery because I don't need the time. Um, the drone itself has between 15 and 20 minutes, depending on a lot of variables of airtime. So I figured 800 is more than enough and it's going to reduce the weight even lower than the 3.5 ounces that I weighed this at. So that's going to put me probably closer to maybe three ounces which is better because it's going to increase the amount of time I can operate on one charge on these batteries. I do have additional batteries to talk that in a quick note here, I guess is that where does this play into your communications plan? This could play into your communications plan through the fact that if you know that is somebody you want to talk to lives on the other side of a mountain range, relatively like small, not, not huge. Uh, not, you know, the Cascades or the Rockies or the Sierra Nevadas or something massive like that. But there's physical terrain in between you and who it is you want to talk to. They live the next city over, but there's a ridge line in between you and them. And you know that because Mestastic is line of sight, there's no way that you could talk to them using Mestastic without some sort of repeater or relay that is high enough to transmit your signal to them. Where would that play in? Into your communications plan where you would develop a communications windows, whether it's, you know, you set intervals once, twice, three times a day, set times, and then the window of the communications window, obviously taking into consideration the drone itself, uh, how much time it can spend in the air. And then that way you could launch it, back and forth, send your messages, send your updates, come back down. 
If you needed for some reason to continue, if you got additional batteries, I have three for mine, swap in another battery, launch it again, and continue the conversation. So I think it's kind of cool. Or other scenario, you're operating in an area, you and your group, and you want to expand the range for a temporary period of time. You launch a drone with the module on top, and now for the next 15 to 20 minutes, you have an increased mesh network. You have much more area that you could cover. It'll remove some of the dead spaces potentially in the lower grounds in between you and other team members. So there's the concept behind it. Military uses it. It's, it's not, with today's technology, it's not very hard. You can get bigger drones, get you know more time if you have a fixed wing drone you might be able to have it loiter for half an hour to an hour in an area and it's quieter it's higher altitudes a lot of variables there cool concept if you guys are interested in please you know let me know down below that helps me you know decide what i need to do more on explain more you can subscribe to the channel if you haven't already like the video check out our website our social media links you could buy me a coffee uh, links below. All the links, of course, are always in information down below. Thanks for watching.